Good morning. Today is Friday, February 16th. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. Alexei Navalny, Russia's most prominent opposition figure, has died in a remote Russian prison at the age of 47. As NPR's Charles Maines reports from Moscow, Navalny had been serving a lengthy prison term, widely seen as punishment for his years of criticism of Russian President Vladimir Putin. News of Navalny's death came from the Federal Penitentiary Service in Russia's Arctic, where Navalny had been serving out a 19-year sentence. In a statement, prison authorities said Navalny lost consciousness after a walk in the prison yard and that attempts by medical staff to resuscitate him, quote, failed to yield positive results. Navalny's family could not immediately confirm the news, but have repeatedly expressed concerns about his health and treatment in prison. In 2020, Navalny was the victim of a near-fatal poisoning attack he blamed on the Russian government. The Kremlin spokesman said President Vladimir Putin had been informed and that prison medics were working to identify the cause of death. Charles Maines, NPR News. Moscow. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan says Navalny's death is a tragedy. Meanwhile, Sullivan met yesterday with top congressional leaders over news of a new Russian anti-satellite capability. Earlier this week, the Republican chair of the House Intelligence Committee released information. He called on President Biden to declassify information about a national security threat. Sullivan says he has now briefed the committee chair and other congressional leaders about Russia's anti-satellite capability. We talked about the steps the administration is taking to deal with this and to ensure the security of the American people. Uh, It was a bipartisan meeting. People focused, both Democrats and Republicans, on the substance, uh, not on the politics or, or the public sturm und drang. And I think we emerged with a good understanding of the way forward. Sullivan spoke to NPR's Morning Edition. The Russian anti-satellite capability is not something that has yet been deployed. An FBI informant has been charged with lying to authorities for allegedly fabricating claims about a purported bribery scheme involving Joe Biden, his son Hunter, and a Ukrainian energy company. The informant's claims have featured into the Republican effort to impeach President Biden. NPR's Ryan Lucas has more. Alexander Smirnov is charged with making false statements and creating a false and fictitious record. The case was brought by special counsel David Weiss, who is overseeing the separate criminal prosecutions against Hunter Biden on gun and tax charges. According to the indictment, Smirnov told the FBI that the Ukrainian energy company Burisma had paid millions of dollars in bribes to then-Vice President Joe Biden and his son Hunter to protect the company from investigators. But prosecutors say that was a lie and that Smirnov made the claims up. The indictment against Smirnov deals a blow to House Republicans who have pointed to Smirnov's allegations in their push to impeach President Biden. In the wake of the indictment, the Republican-led House Oversight Committee says it still has ample reason to continue its investigation. NPR's Ryan Lucas. This is NPR.